Kelly shots associated with his no housewives in the South. I love going round to speak to Kelly because out of all my friends, she's the one that, you know, gives me advice and keeps it real. You know, she's got my back, but also she'll tell me when I'm being out of order. Yeah. But all this green looks so nice. It's better than the black and red. It just oh, thank looks Thank you. So and to be honest, I had the black and red for so long. Do you know mm. what I mean? And the sofas were red and then it was just like, it's, uh, the joke was I wanted to redo the living room, but because I had to redo the garden because of all the bamboo, another story. <laughs> uh, I was like, I can't justify buying new sofas when mm. the garden needs doing. And then I decided to like facelift in here. And then on the day that I finished it was the day the fire happened. Oh my god. So gosh. the universe was like, girl, yeah. you're going to get your new living room. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. And you like should, I said, I'm grateful, man. It's, you should be so proud. I can't. Where did you get the flooring from? That's lovely. You. I had that made in China and, and, and shipped over. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. Oh, thank you, baby. So, what else is going on? Um, nothing much. Bit silly. What's going on with you, anyway? Put it. How's Skylar? Oh, Skylar's walking. Oh my gosh, she is running everywhere like a lunatic. Like she's literally, so, she's so gorgeous. <laughs> you can't move without her doing anything. You have to have eyes in the back of your head. <laughs> she's literally as soon as you go in the house, she'll be grabbing that, grabbing your phone. She's just into everything. You know, I think about that like baby proof in your house. Oh my gosh. So you know, <laughs> once you think about having babies, you've got to like. Before, obviously, I live in a penthouse yeah. and everything's glass. Yeah. So she's putting her hands everywhere. Yeah. And I've got two cleaners, and the cleaners are like, we, you know, you need to make sure that you change all this living room because we're sick of cleaning all the glass because there's prints everywhere. Yeah. And then you've got to worry about your cupboards, opening up the cupboards. I mean, you you couldn't even have a baby in here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, it's I don't, true. I've got a baby room and I've got Put a baby <laughs> gate. That's just like, you can't come in this room. And yeah. I've got, for Skylar, she's got a playpen which is like half the size of the room. Mm. She's got a toys in and I, oh, that's I, nice. I, I put her in there so she can't move yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> until she starts like escaping and just yeah. climbing out she started trying to escape already mm. <laughs> but I just can't wait for her to start talking you know it's like she, it's just so magical yeah. you know I wake up in the morning she's and just I like mum and dad oh yeah she says no yeah. she just says dad oh, well. <laughs> even though mum does everything for her yeah. I, I do everything all she talks about is her dad uh, uh, maybe it's the, I don't know, maybe, you know, like for some babies, it's the easiest word that they can pronounce, perhaps. Definitely. Yeah. But, you know, I'm really upset because me and Skylar and Skibar was all going to go on holiday together. Oh. And, you know, having Skylar on lockdown was so hard for me, you I know. Bet, I bet. And working, I was really looking forward to having a family holiday. So what happened? Oh, he's coming back with, he's got to go to Ibiza, he's got a 10 grand booking, and he's got to go out to Ibiza for the, for, well, for three days. So aren't you not going No. I don't know which way to go. I'm trying to keep my family together, but there's other side of me where, where I'm thinking, what's the point? What's the point? What's the point? I mean, I can understand because, you know, you wouldn't want to, like, break up the family, you want to try and make it work yeah. for Skylar's sake, not just your sake. So Cherie is like one of my best friends. She's a boss bitch. She's like really kind and generous. And I love being around her energy and her daughter Skylar is just adorable. Baby, don't put up with that shit. You deserve better than that. I know. And it's having a baby as well. You're just like, it's hard because I'm trying to work. I'm working. I've got, I've got a baby and then I've got Skipper running games. And he's coming back at all sorts of times in the morning, waking me up when I've got Skylar. He's not helping me. It's not, you know, doing any night feed. If I didn't know him and he wasn't like one of my friends, like obviously as my friend, I like him as a person. Mm -hmm. But talking to you and with you as my friend and you as a woman and what you've just told me, get rid, babe. 
he's just round. It seems like he's just there for bed and breakfast. He's got no time for us, and I just feel like he that hasn't must put be us really first. Horrid, baby. It's really horrible. I'm sorry. I just don't I'm know how much babes. more I can take of it, to be honest. It's just vile. You don't deserve that, baby. I know. You don't deserve that, baby. I just don't know, Kel. I just don't know what I'm going to do anymore. I've just had enough, you know. I'm tired, you know, and it just got to a point now where I just feel like, you know, I don't know what to do, so. You don't deserve that, baby. She would make sure that when you... There's when me you... wanting a man. Yes! Oh, get it! Listen. No headaches in my life. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you get so desperate to have a family. You know, I was single for, for for a few years and I was partying and then I wanted to settle down. And when I finally got to settle down, it's like, you know, all the cracks appear and then, you know, you have a baby and you're just very protective and then all this stuff happens. And also as well, you know, as a parent, you don't want Skylar to see what's going on with you and her father and think that that's how women should be. You know? No. You want to be proud and strong and show her this. No, you don't take shit from anyone, even if it, that person is yeah. someone you really love and care about. And his mum's saying, telling me down the phone, allow it, allow him to be elf, allow him to be elf, let him do what he wants to do. So. I've got Allow this... him to be what? Elf. Elf, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> be an elf. <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> so the funny thing is I did know Skibber's like real name, but it's just how Cherie said it. She was like, Elf, and I was like, who is Elf? Who's the Elf? And then it just was hilarious. And then we couldn't stop laughing for like 20 minutes. But Skibber, we love you really. <laughs> So the second session, I thought it was supposed to be easier. It's harder. I feel like giving up. Squat down, pull in, bum up, and good. And legs. Push your leg up, keep it low, keep it low. Feel the bone in your bottom. Good. Now we're gonna walk back and back. Good. Keep it low, keep the core in, push your bum out. Building nice, strong, round booties. Good. How was that? See, yeah. it goes fast. Oh, Time yeah. goes fast. If you do like three or four seconds, three or four sets that of 40 really, seconds. That really burnt. And it helps when you train with a partner, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. But just watch Anka's form. Okay. See how she pulls her body down? She keeps her core in. Yeah. The legs are nice and strong. Yes. This one is quite a different, but there are gyms where you can actually lay back a bit more. Lean back, oh, sorry. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. If you lean back, it's even better. Yes. You can lift Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, this one's good. It's burning. It's burning. Yeah. yeah. It's burning. No gains without the pain. <laughs> Slowly, core in, core in. Really good. Slowly. Well done. Get it, get it. Three more. Good. Two more. Josefa's dying. Mm -hmm. oh my God. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah you did. Look at that. It's a quartz so pop in. Definition. So, because we all have Is them. it coming along? Yeah. Yeah, after 40 minutes, they just come along. <laughs> See, so that's what we call progression. You know, yeah, that really is. If you add the jump, like it was just oh. static, but now you added the, the jumps. Progress. So you can make your warm up or your finishing yeah. workout with a heavy workout or something. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I won't be doing That's that good. one today. Next time. Next time. Yeah. Next time. Next time. Yeah, next time I'm going to try that. Squat yeah. jump, yeah. Yeah. They're really good. That was really nice. It looks, it looks mm -hmm. fun as well. It's fun, yeah. Yeah. Because you jump until your brains come up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they're in shape. I'm scared. Yeah, okay. It is mm -hmm. that this is what we, uh, we are both professional athletes and I've been yeah. competing for 10 years. Yes. So this is what we have to, that's nothing. The training 
I say it's the easiest part. Okay. It's what you control, what goes on your plate. Yeah. And it takes over everything. Like yeah. if you if you want to have basically the bottom line is that it takes over everything if you want to have a good body. You okay. can't, it's social life, it's not drinking. Yeah. You can still balance. So yes. don't it's not like you have to live like a monk. You still you can no. still do it, but yeah. very moderation. Little, very yeah. very little, yeah. But it's gotta be such a treat when you have a glass of wine. Like I'm mm, I'm not yes. a drinker myself, but no, I'm I love drinker. sweets, I love, love yeah. chocolate, so it has to be yeah. such a treat. Yeah, it's my food, I love my food. Yeah. Well, food you, is good. You, yeah, well, the wrong food. <laughs> well, okay, that's not exactly. good. You have to eat <laughs> yeah, the right food. And, and you have to make yeah. it part of your lifestyle. And fizzy that's drink, Coca-Cola. Yeah. It's my yeah. favourite drink. D as long diet. as it's diet. No, it's not. I'm just drinking full fat. <laughs> as long this as is it's what diet. this is all Look about. They say the full fat <laughs> Coke is better than because of yeah. the, all the yeah. rubbish it's got in yeah. it. So, but if it's a treat, it can be done. It, you don't mm -hmm. have to like completely cut out everything. everything. Okay. So, how many times you do you guys compete a year then? Well, um, there's two phases to competing. You yeah. bulk up yeah. and then w which they call the off season yeah. and then you die down which they right. call prep so last right. year during my prep yeah. I did three competitions this year right I'm aiming for three as well wow yeah um I've done two a year yeah. but I've been competing seven years back to back so okay. I've had not just if I just started now yeah. <laughs> where I needed a break so I sort of retired but I haven't so yeah Yes. So when two can to I a year. <laughs> when can I anyone, can I just say something? <laughs> anyone can do it. Anyone, anyone can, can do it. Anyone. Really? There is no, there is right. no person in this world that okay. they say they can't, oh, I can do what they do. If we can do it, so can you. It's yeah. very, and every, anyone, it depends what your goals are and how, how bad do you want to. Yeah. I did both myself and Uncle. We did our first yeah. competitions when our babies were two years old. Yeah. They were oh, two. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I had my first pregnancy. comp when Teddy was one and a half. Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah. I did so, so you can, you can it's do it. Achievable. You can, it's achievable, but yeah. you, I would say you need the support yes. at home 100%. You need a good if you're married, yeah. if you've got kids, then you yeah. definitely need the support. And I think yeah. even if you're not married, you need the support of friends, yeah. like 100%. Yeah. It's exciting to go, mm -hmm. to go into it, yeah. it's so exciting. But the journey then it says, is it gets, tough. Yeah, it's very tough, yeah, mentally tough. as well. Yeah. Okay, darling, so will you be coming back for your third session? Yes, I will, oh, definitely. Yes, yes, definitely. Yes, I will. Definitely. I loved it, I love it. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm absolutely loving this. Who knows? I might ditch the modelling career and become a female bodybuilder. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, yeah. There's well, loads of people. I don't like people going taking my clothes out of the house just in case I've got a smelly house and my clothes start smelling horrible. I have to have someone that comes in. I do need a house woman that's going to come in a couple of days a week, evenings. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to second. Just advertise for one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to second. But like you say, it's it, you know I, mean, I don't like people taking the piss and uh, I don't like taking the piss out of me, but I also don't like I'm taking the piss out of my friends. I know. I know. So what I you're get saying. really fucking angry about it. No, but it's given me anxiety about it as well. Andy, he's, he's a man in South London, I know. He's a good friend of mine. I'm going to link up with him. He's smashing it at the minute with his film productions. And I know we will know someone really good where I can um, hire out at the club for the Fresh Heads launch party. Oh my Plus gosh, wow. He's, he's a big link over in the South, you know. And with the girls and stuff as well, I can get like twins they can do their music kelly the rock yeah. my mate charlotte devaney central dj it's gonna be sick it's gonna be the biggest party in the south ever yes you know and i just think it's what everybody needs yeah love kelly and she advised us to speak to danny c he's a garage producer yes yeah, produced some of her tracks so we thought perfect let's go to him and get a little bit of advice you girls look amazing oh my god oh, the bus you. ride was <laughs> worth it thank you babe. jesus thank you so much cairo bruv oh my days <laughs> stay there man <laughs> i don't need you in here bruv i can handle this just give me yeah, the keys exactly. to the dungeon we're done <laughs> The sex dungeon what? right there, or is that the booth? I don't know. <laughs> you can handle us both. Oh, I'm not sure, I don't know. You know what? <laughs> You're gonna give it a good try. I'll try, yeah? Because <laughs> failing means you try, yeah? Exactly. But I don't need the intent to fail. We've got the dungeon, we've got the pull down bed on the other side as well. <laughs> dungeon? So listen. Is it pull down bed? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's leave that for the minute, yeah? Yeah, let's, let's talk, just swerve that for a minute. The girl just took me off a course there, right? I'm a professional guy. Yeah. Let me just. Uh, uh, namaste. Ooh. Let, 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 let me namaste. <laughs> let me namaste, yeah? Right, yes? Let's get, our, let's get our thing back in. Right, now, girls, what's going on? Talk to me. What do you want? Basically, our girl, our good, good friend, Kelly LaRock, has told us to come to you. You're the best of the business. Uh, we want to see if we can work with you and what you've got to offer us and see if we can work some magic together. And what you've been doing so far? What's, what's the genre you've been doing? So far, hip hop, R&B, but everyone's saying, you know what, guys, you, your vocals, the rapping, it makes sense to jump on like a house kind of You got moves, kind of beat. have you got moves? We do, we do. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's gonna make sense though. We can, Listen, we've got you that get on the house, you get out to the venues, you do the PA. Yeah. It makes sense. Yes, you do the exactly. festivals. Exactly. That's where it's at, That's yeah? Yes. When you get yes. used to matching up, glitter, oh. tight. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yes, yes we want that energy. Come I on, know. let's go, let's oh, go. My day. No, I love it, I love it, I love it. A bit of smoke machine yeah. coming up, a few bubbles. And it, mm, yeah? Mm, 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 I'm seeing fire, mm, not bubbles. Mm, like, mm, yeah, a little bit more energy, a right. bit dark. The fire puts out the bubbles, yeah? So the bubbles come up, yeah? Initially. And the fire goes, boom! Yes! yes. Pop, 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 no, I love pop, it, I yeah? love it, I love it, I love it. Yes? Let's go, yeah. 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 Right, we better get a tune first, though. Okay, That's first right. things first. Yeah, so we want kind of edgy, um, kind of like... Edgy. Yeah, edgy. Danny, edgy, see, that's what boom, you boom, boom, Danny, boom, boom. edgy, see. Yeah, exactly. Yes. My birth, look, my birth it. certificate, it says, name, <laughs> Danny, edgy, See, from yeah, birth. Yeah. Yes. There you go. From birth. It makes yes. sense. No, I love it. Well, this is going to be good. I can't. I know this is going to be good. Yeah, we're going to make something absolutely Listen, fantastic. We can do this. Yeah. Yeah. I can see you got fire. Let's yes. go. Fire <laughs> is more important than everything else, the right? Desire, if you ain't got the fire, you ain't got the desire. 
then there's no point being on the bus. Yes? Exactly. I thought you were going to do another rhyme. Via desire and then... No. A tire. Need a fire. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. If you are, if you ain't got the fire, yeah. you ain't got the desire, yeah. then you might as well... Retire! Yes! Let's do it! Let's yeah, 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 go in the dungeon! Get in the dungeon! I need to, that. What, let's get build a dungeon. beat. Let's build a beat. My days. Oh my god. I've got the tune. Yeah? I've got the tune. He's my guy. I've got the tune! <laughs> yes! I love it! You know, one of them ones made it. It was like the holy grail of tunes. And I looked at this tune, I heard this tune, I made this tune, and I put this tune <laughs> into the grail. And I said, one Noah. day, one oh. day you will be released. That is that day right now. Oh my God, listen to this tune! Oh yeah. 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 yeah! you got to come through. After all this big talk, you got to come yes. through. Let's go, let's yes. go, let's go, let's hear yes. it, let's hear it. Yes! Uh, uh, uh. Yes! Oh, 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 oh! Listen, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes! Ah! Danny C is a mad character, so we met up in this spoof bus. So the whole situation was a bit crazy, but do you know what? He's a fun character, he's full of life. It was a studio on a bus. It was lit. Wild. There you go, this is what I'm talking about, yes? Yeah, love it. See them tunes there, I've got them, I've got more of them. We can sort you right out, no problem. So we are get it, I'm gonna send Yay! you some tunes. You're gonna write to them, you're gonna vibes to them, you're gonna get yep. involved. You're gonna grind it, you're gonna buzz, you're gonna, oh. you're gonna FaceTime no, me. No I wanna FaceTime. Oh my yeah. days, I've just Face. done another verse. Oh my, well, I want that, yeah? No, we've got it. We've got it. Me up. I wanna be, listen, this bus, it, it, listen, I have to, it's so I good, to drive, it? yeah? It's your time, yeah? This yes. is your let's go, time, let's yes? Let's go, let's go, don't leave me hanging, please. I yeah? Beg oh, come on, Jim, yeah, come on. Yeah. Come on, take this girl home. Yeah. Stop at the shop, stand in business, <laughs> champagne and biscuits. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Let's go. If you don't know Andy Fripp, he is the geezer in South London. He's an absolutely sick producer. He does films. He is amazing. Grace! Hey, how are you? Time, What's happening? Oh my gosh, you right? yeah, we're all good. How are you, darling? It's been right? about 25 years. Mm. Oh, are you okay? Oh, yeah, just about, just oh, about. Wow. What's been going on? Busy schedule, babe, busy schedule. Oh, how's it's the film, film's going? Yeah, I've got about, I've got two films in production right now. Oh, wow. So I've got my work cut out, I've been grafting, getting up early doing what we've got to do. I've got a film called I Gave You Power that I'm meant to be making. Oh, wow. Straight after, um, two days in South London. That's what I'm making now, so. Oh, my it's, it's, God. It's, I'm, I'm, no I'm, 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 I sure is. I'm under Hey, it. you're going to smash it this year. I'm so proud of you. How about you? What's been happening? How's Skibba? How's the baby? Oh, Skylar is great. Skibba, I've had serious issues with him, to be honest. Oh, what's happening? Oh, me and him are just split up. He's moved split out. Split up? Shut yeah. up. When was that? We hit about three, two, two, two months ago. Go now, Seriously? yeah, it's got really nasty. Right. Everyone's tried speaking to him, but you can try. Obviously, you're good friends with him, he might listen to you. But as yeah. far as I'm concerned, you know, I've tried everything I can to make our family work, right? Right, well, this is it. I mean, it's one of them things, isn't it? Um, I was going to say to you as well, do you I really want to do a fresh eggs launch? Do you know anywhere? where we can do a Fresh Eggs party. Yeah, yeah, I've got a place. My mate Albie's got a club. It's mm. called Silks Nightclub. Um, you can do it there. I've got a couple of venues around South. Yeah. Good, you know what I mean? I mean, South London's got plenty of venues, babe, mm. babe. You know how it is. 
Well, what, how much people do you need? What's the capacity? Well, not too many. I want to just get a couple of my celebrity friends down. Um, nothing too big. I want it to make it nice and plush. Everyone get dressed up. Do do like photos, product placement yeah. when you walk in, things like that. But I want to do it so it's like maybe about 30, 40 people, not 30 too people, many. Yeah. Um, so what's it in so old in a minute? It's, it's the fresh heads. Fresh heads is that thing you came out with that. Um, the hangover capsule. Hang on, hang on fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, have you got any capsules on you? Yeah, I've got some. I've got some. I've always got some because you know you need you need to take them before you start drinking. Oh, you got to take them before. And then you take two tablets in the morning. But it definitely you know helps with your hangover. Seriously. And I think I'm thinking now to just like relaunch it again. I've going to launch it in Ibiza, Marbella. So I've got people working over there for me as well. So I'm going to do some launches over there as well. So I thought you know South might as well do it here. You hungry, by the way? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Oh, hey, boss, you food. got any boss? Is there any food in there, boss? Any food? Yeah. Right, all I want. Oh, it, so I have to. So I have to go in there to order it. All right. I'll, yeah. Can you order the bar? All right. Do you, you want anything? Yeah, I, you know what? Just get me something like, like a little sandwich yeah, or something. Yeah, I'll order, in, I'll order in a set. Yeah, go on, sorry, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you know what sort of thing. I want all the girls to be quite glamorous, all the boys to be all dressed up. I want it a nice plush party. I think everyone's been in for far too long now. So what you got the girls putting on? You got a bunch of girls that we could... Yeah, I've got girls, I've got models, I've got, you know, all the celebrities. I've got loads of different girls. I've got enough girls. I just, actually, I need you to bring some men. That's alright. It's in a minute. Is it just the fresh heads, Therese? No, I'm I, I'm talking in talks with three other brands. So you have minute. three brands on the night. Maybe the girls, five. And the, all the girls promoting the brands on. Yeah. So what we do is we have like five different brands, right. okay? And then we do a goodie bag. So in the goodie bag, we'll have like spray tan. Um, I've got another product called from Pax Cosmetics. They're interested in putting a couple of products in. I've got an eyelash girl. So they, when the celebrities come, they have a, a gift bag okay. with all the products in and then obviously we get everyone taking the fresh heads before they come in and then just to, everyone just parties. What, what girls time. you got in mind? Who's coming? Who's, who's just out of interest? Oh Charlie's gonna come. Oh, Charles she's is coming. thinking about doing something with her clothing brand That'd that she's good. working with. Maylene's saying saying about doing something with her fashion brand as well. So it'd be good to see all the girls because they've seen them for ages. May, who else? Maylene and also uh, Louise, Louise said she's going to be coming as well. Yeah. Um, she said that she's got some sort of drinks company interested as well. What about Marshall and Mel? Yeah, they said they want to perform. That's what I'm saying, why don't you turn it into, so what you do, that would be a little spin, so you have the club. And also Kelly, Kelly said she wants to perform. Oh, Kelly LaRock. Yeah. yeah. have Kelly there, and, that'd be great. And also, I've got Charlotte Devaney who wants to DJ, which a is A DJ huge. girl? Yeah. You get her down, I'm like, yeah, Charlotte's cool, I like, yeah, I like yeah. her stuff. What you should do, get her to come down and have a big massive party, have the girls performing. Yeah. AF, AF Thrift launch party as well. Yes. In the, AF Films in the building, South hey. London. So we're doing it, come on then also, in terms of this party. So when are you looking to hold it? Soon, yeah? Yeah, soon. I mean, the sooner the better. Right. I think just before the spring starts, it's like, you know, get it out there. So I think it's a great time to do it. Because what it is, what I could do, you know what I mean? It ain't even, I'm just trying to think because I want you. I want to do. I want you to do a cameo in my latest film. Definitely. Two days in South London. Oh, so I, I will do a cameo that. in that. Be great. Get you know. Get some product placement going. We get some things happening because we're building a massive production company. Mm -hmm. AF Films. Mate. We're on the rise. Mm -hmm. So we can kind of. You know, we can join forces at some point. I was trying to figure it out, but all right, let's get this party out of the way. I've got enough brands as well, Andy. You know me, I'm like in the beauty industry, I know everybody, so product placements would be great. Yeah, wicked, mm. wicked. And where's this food? Where's the food, boss? What's going on? I'm starving. Where's the food coming? We've got my. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it, baby. Yeah? yeah. All right, let's make it happen. All right, Cheers, definitely. Babe. Cheers. Mm. Thanks for the drink. There's none left. <laughs> <laughs>
have some drink. He's like, girl time, girl time. The ones that you would not like, you'll be like, they don't want to go, oh my God, I'm going to take, take you out. And you're like, yeah, 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 I'll get back to you. And then when you give them a chance, you actually like, you start catching your feelings. No, really. blank. Imagine after like <laughs> one day, you're like, actually, you like you. Yes. Like, seriously, I can't stand it. But like, you know me, I like guys in Lambos, like Ferraris and that. And that sounds like, Whatever, but I do. You two are two peas in a pod. Look at you. <laughs> hey, this, that's why you two are good friends. Hundred percent. Oh. But listen, why would I be in a mess? Guys, do you know what it is? These guys, yeah, they get too confident. Like you give them a chance, yeah. then you think, okay, this guy's not really a look up, but they've got charisma, and they rule you in, that's and then it. you catch feelings, no, you and they get ahead of themselves. Yeah, not, you know, imagine, not just that. It's if true, you think, though, yeah, isn't but it? If you think about it. Imagine this. No, it's like what you said, but if you really think about it, you're like. You ugly my fucker at first, but then you fall in love with them. You're like, yes, sir. Oh. I'm so mad. Like, I know. seriously, but then I do not even think they're ugly after I start to like them. I know. I'm like, just actually look beautiful. That looks doesn't mean anything, does it? 100%. Never mind. It doesn't. Does it. Does it. <laughs> Charlie was well, like, however. But. but I don't give a shit. Like, seriously, I like money in it. So at the end of the day, what really angers me is I start to like them once I only got that loads of money. This is the thing, what I think is not necessarily a bad thing but for me you like money as well why the Babe, fuck are you this, like it that's what i'm saying i think if someone treats you it tugs on my heartstrings i just like it you gotta be kind you gotta do the little the little things for me it's just like okay we're gonna go for a picnic that doesn't cost too much you gotta be thoughtful that's my thing you gotta yes. be you, yeah, I I trained attentive you up enough attentive. to know about <laughs> I'm trying to learn. I want to be like you when I'm an adult. <laughs> but for now. No, but your guy that you've seen now. Yeah, he's super attentive, massages, head Ooh, to toe. Massage for massage hour. Head to, how much do you pay for that? Because I know I pay a lot of money for head to toe exactly. massages. And then. What, he pays for you to have that? No, no he does it he himself. He does it himself. And then, well, that's why he's doing it, because he's a broke ass. But anyway, girls, 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 girls. Back to what we're here for. What okay. we're doing about this meeting. End of the month, where we've got a video shoot. You're going to pull up and bring your girls. We need twerkers. That's what we need. But listen, all jokes aside, that I can, like, I'll bring some girls if you, if you need that. Perfect. But at the same time, um, I was thinking, obviously, like, my lingerie line and the rest of it, I want you two there. Yes. I love you two. And I think, what? Well, and the thing is, Bust I think you're both so beautiful. And guess what I love about you two the most? Like, you're naturally beautiful, natural thank bodies. You, oh, thank, thank you, babe. Even though I don't got my body dip, but we're good. So, you know, I had to. But if I had the money, I'd be doing the same thing. Oh, <laughs> I know, you don't need, like, three times ram, but it's what it is. But I love you two. You're, like, naturally beautiful. No, you might be interested as well. Uh, our girl Ling's coming soon. So you might be interested in having her. She's very natural She's a natural well. girl. Who's she's that? Cool. We'll show you. She's our girl. She's, like, she's like, one of our girls. We collab with her as well. We've done a few oh, tunes really? yes. so, yeah. in the music yeah, industry, the... she's an artist. So. Yeah, yeah she's got a natural body as well, she's cute. Yeah, so we thought, let's bring Mei Ling along as well because they both know of each other, so it would be nice to all come together. Hey girls! Hi, hey, Mel! You alright, babe? Hey, Mush! Hi, baby, how are you? I'm You're good. good. Hi. Hi. Charlie, 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 Hi, Charlie, nice this is Charlie, this is You all right? You okay? Yeah, I'm <laughs> good. So this is the girl. We was actually just speaking about you as well. Oh, so. what was you saying? Good stuff, you know. <laughs> we were saying, we were suggesting that you would be really perfect for her brand because you're very natural, you've got the natural curves, beautiful skin tone. So. I think you're really pretty, yeah. Oh, thank you, right. thank yeah. you. So what is your range? It's my, yeah, what is your range like? They were saying that you obviously I could model for your range. What type of range is it? Ha have you not looked on Instagram or something? I don't know. What's... No, not really. I'm a bit busy. Okay, so why? What have you like modeled for like loads of people or something? I don't know. No, not really. I mean, I've had loads of offers, but you know, I'm waiting for the right brand. I'm not trying to you know, give myself up to anybody. You know, guys, you know, I just done New York, Miami, and Jamaica YG. in six days. <laughs> really? Oh, yes, yeah. Girl. Yes, girl. I was she bored at home and I thought, fuck it. I want to go on holiday. So I'm thinking, obviously, I can bring you in, do like a bit of my lingerie. I think you're really pretty, Thank 100%. You. I Thank think you. you'll be perfect. I want like white, black, Chinese, you name it, I've got it. Like, yeah. I think you'll be perfect. I think you're really pretty and cute. But mm. like, I don't know, there's a few little things I could like, probably alter a little bit. Mm. Like. I was like, hell motherfucking no. Guys, your friend's a bit patronising. I'm not really feeling it. Do you know it. what? She doesn't... No, she... Do you know what it is? She's, she's got very, a business mind. Yes. Yeah, so. She's very critical. If you're going to get a bitch, you can get a bitch like that. She they brought me here for like a business meeting for me to yeah. say to you, 
I think you might be great for my brand. You come with an attitude. I don't know if I could that. I don't mean need you not to be robes. I am actually somebody. Like, okay, I think... well, I don't actually need you either. No, but who does this Charlie girl think she's talking to? It can't be me. Hey, honest to God, I'm not trying to be rude to you at all whatsoever. I think you're absolutely lovely. Mm. But I do feel like you come here thinking like you're somebody. And all I'm trying to say is, I don't give a shit about nobody. Like, I am actually somebody. My brand will be big. Anything I do is big. And for you to come with that attitude, like, oh, I've just come up playing for Jamaica. Who gives the fuck about Jamaica? Nobody. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> so calm yourself down. Calm it down a little bit. Look, and Sorry. let's make business. Because anything I do is money, baby. So I'm trying to bring you in something different for you taking, uh, like, your little cheap flight. Babe, so I think like, I can help you, but you might want to Google me, darling, because, like, Google you, honey. I will not Google you, but trust me, I've heard about you. Yeah, of course. And I've heard you're a bit of a hoe. You've heard what? Bitch. You're a bit of a hoe, honey. Yeah. Been throwing it around a bit before. <laughs> Is this what you brought me to me? Your friends being a bit patronising. Right, listen. And I'm right, listen. It. Um, listen. All jokes aside. Shut the fuck up. Seriously, you're really pissing me off now. Like, I okay. swear to God. Guys, like, listen, guys. darling, listen, listen. Let me tell you something now. There's nothing hurry about me. Unless I start with your fucking baby father or your boyfriend, <laughs> keep your mouth shut. Fuck, we didn't even see this happening. Charlie, Carly, whatever your name is, yeah, you're a hoe. Yeah, I've heard all about you, yeah? I've told you, it's Charlie, you fucking dumb yeah. bitch. Ho, listen to me, what the ho. fuck is your... Listen, ho. what the fuck yeah? is your problem? Just like, to Google her. You better shut my fucking mouth up on you. Do you know Carly, what Charlie, you know? whatever, oh. yeah? I thought you were made of something! What the oh fuck? My oh goodness. my God, honey, cheap alcohol. Right, we should stop Cheap like, alcohol, you yeah? No surprise there. Then. No surprise. Absolute monstrosity that was. Why are you bringing some fucking skanky bitch to me? Like, seriously, they like, shut the fuck up now. No, 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 Are you serious? This girl just threw a drink on me. Not only that, it was cheap wine. If you want to get a reaction, at least throw some champagne, honey. Nice to see you, again. darling. Nice to see you, honey. 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 Are you well? Are you, been? Yeah. Are you here for the usual? So, yeah. I know. So, what are you saying then? So, what did you think about that? It's over the top. It's like zero to 100. So unnecessary. And I kind of see how Mailing walked out, but I didn't really think it was necessary at the same time. Like, But I spoke to her and she's like, she was going to do a madness kind of thing. The way Maylin was like, bigging herself up, and then as soon as Charlie dashed a drink in her face, she just... Yeah, but she don't. Yeah, it's just, she, she said she saw red. She saw red, so I don't blame her. She, and we're there, everyone's there. We had so many people in the place that we knew as well, so it's like... Embarrassing. Yeah, it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. But do you know what? Like, not I'm not backing what Charlie did, obviously, because it was just over the top, but... I know that she's got a lot going on in her personal life. She has a lot of serious things, like family things. Mm. So that's the only reason why, like, when she kind of went for you, I felt like normally if anyone was able to do that in any other situation, you know, I'm not even asking any questions. I'm just like, it's going to be on, isn't it? Yeah. But with her, I just feel like a little bit sympathetic towards her so I can understand where she's coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm we glad to... you didn't go to ham as well. I was ready to I as know, well. I know, I was ready, I was ready to. <laughs> Hold me back. But I know, no, no, you did We need good, to think of good. a way though to bring them back together. Like 100%. Yeah. So, because it was all blown out of proportion. 100%. If we did something where we could all get together, something fun and light-hearted, like. Oh, Thank lovely. you, my babe. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you, darling. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. <laughs> 
All right, so I'm thinking we need to squash this because yeah. we're all working together and we've got our businesses, so we need to sort something out. Exactly, money over everything, yeah. Yeah, so what do you think? Well, I've already invited her. So. <laughs> What? Who I've, to win? I've invited Charlie to uh, Ling's pole dancing. We started off so well. I mean, having these counselling sessions I thought would really help. You know, I'd do anything I could to keep my family together. Hello. Yes. Oh, how are you doing? You alright, yeah? Please come in. Have a sit. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing today? Well, uh, yeah, not too bad. Did you come there. from far? Uh, not too far. Too far. All right, yeah. yeah. What's going on? Good. So, guys, mm -hmm. um, you both wanted to see me, from what I understand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what I would love to know is really what's going on, what's happening. Well, the last time I saw him, I found a naked picture on his phone. Okay. You know, it really, really, really upset me. And, you know, we ended up splitting up and I haven't seen him since. So, what would be really good, the way it's going to work, is I'd like both of you to tell me your part of the story, if that's okay. Okay. And um, we're going to go from there so I can understand a little bit yeah. where it all started. So well, for me, it's like, as I said, it's a mate that I've known for 12 years. The fact that I've got to come in and delete messages is a bit... It's ridiculous. I feel a bit stupid, to be honest. You know what I mean? It's, it's a mate, you know, you should know them. We should, it should be, all be open, you know what I mean? I shouldn't have to delete messages just in case you see it and you start putting two two together and coming up with 1,125 and then kicking off and going Yeah, but why didn't you just say to me, oh, I'm popping around to some mates okay. on the way home? And let me say that, right? Because I can't say stuff like that to you because you don't take it, you always think the worst of it. Oh my, what's going on here? Well, what's I would you, do what's... if you're saying you're going around to some bird's ass at four o'clock in the fucking morning. Uh, yeah. Of course I would. I mean, yeah. like, how would you like it if I went round to some man's house at four o'clock in the morning? Listen, I, I explained to you, when I went to this house, my mate used to ask me to bring a couple of cigarettes or whatever, and I was well, like... What are oh, you, an Uber? An Uber Eats? Oh, here we go. OK. Yeah. <laughs> I have some questions. So, how long have you been together? Well, we've been together a few years. I've got a little girl called Skylar. And I run my own business. And I just find it really difficult because, well, you know, all the arguing and stuff that we've been doing, I just, it's affecting my life, it's affecting Skylar. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's hard. It's hard, really hard. Okay. Because, you know, I'm trying so hard to keep my family together and I just feel like he just doesn't have any respect for me whatsoever. Okay. Okay. So you have a little girl, how old is she? She's um, 16 months. Okay, and you're living together? No, okay. not at the minute, no. Okay, so... Uh, let me just, just backtrack a little bit and I'll yeah. tell you, I mean, obviously she's just explaining what's, what's going on yeah. for her. This is what's been going on for me a little bit. It's, uh, yes, there are certain things that she sees and that does not like and stuff, and it's understandable. And I just believe we should just be, come home and talk about these things between us, do you know what I mean? What Cherie's been doing is taking it upon herself to message all my family, anyone that I've introduced Cherie to, whether it's my mum, my brother, my cousin, my colleague, my friends or whatever, Cherie takes it upon herself to message these people and saying, Skibs is doing this, Skibs is doing that, Skibs is doing this, Skibs is doing that, and, blow, and putting out my personal things out on the road. For, yeah, but you... But listen, listen, you said, listen, let me speak, yeah? Putting out my personal things on the road, and what really took the piss for me, okay, yeah, with this girl, oh my days, okay, so this girl that I've followed back on Instagram, again, and then Sharif took it upon herself to screenshot the, uh, the girl and then message my mum and saying this is Skibber's new girlfriend. And I'm like, yo, once again, trying to throw me un under the bus into somebody that I've introduced you to. Now that's my mum. Listen, because yeah, once but it second, wasn't just some me, random let me, girl. Let me, let me, I found all let me, pictures let me, of you. Let me Hold on. Me. Pictures, you saved pictures of this listen. girl back in March okay. right on the computer. So let's get it listen. right. You're not telling listen. the full story. I'm telling both the full you. story. Both of you. Can I, can, can I kind of finish, yeah? Can I finish this same one? Yeah, saying, and then yeah? it will be your turn to give me no a version. No problem. Yeah? Okay. Do you want as to finish? I said, as I said, I've seen this person twice my whole life. So it's like, that's a lie. It's not a lie. Why are you texting that to my mum? That's my closest person to me. You could tell my mum, oh, Skibs just shot somebody. My mum's still going to be there for me. You're never going to tell my mum against me. You know? Telling my mum that this is who Skibs is now with, almost every, that's bullshit. Yeah, one second, oh, let me finish, let me finish. Hold on a minute. Let me finish. Hold on. No, let me, can I not finish, yeah? 
Can I finish? I'm, I'm going to now listen, I'm ask, telling. I'm, I've heard your part of the story. That's bullshit, I, I like to... Listen, I'll never forgive her for that. I'm telling you straight now, I'll never forgive you for that. Because oh, no. that's my mum. Well, I'll never forgive you for fucking having those pictures. Pictures. On my Mother's Day. Pictures, pictures. You screenshotted the girl and had pictures. fucking pictures, pictures of her pictures. on Mother's Day. Yeah, you ruined my Mother's Day. Guys. Because I went into, my, it went, went into his studio and he had pictures of this young girl all over his fucking computer. Sorry to keep swearing, but all over his computer. This was back in March. I had an argument with him on March because I seen these pictures of this young girl. Mm. Then I seen pictures of this young girl, right, oh at, at a festival, and he'd met up with her. She was sitting on his table drinking his rider. Right, let's get it right. So, someone drinking. so he's someone that doesn't know someone that well. Why have you got pictures of the girl on your computer, saved on your favourites, on your phone? Because. So I'm, go I'm going to ask you something here. Yeah. You have an history of. Um, getting involved in picture with other women. I would like to ask you, why do you do this? Okay, can I answer that now, yeah? Yeah, sure. Because these people are fans. They okay. are fans of Skibbity. They're just seeing Skibbity and like, oh my God, Skibbity, can I have a picture? Can I have a picture? Okay. I can't be like a horrible, oh, sorry, mate, no, no, I can't take a picture of you because Sheree might go crazy. It's, it's, it's a bit ridiculous, to be honest. And... Okay. I don't know, it's one, at that instant, I cannot say, I cannot be like, oh no, sorry, baby, sorry, I can't have another picture. I cannot do that because I get these it. Are fans. So, would you say it's part of, the, of your job? It's part of my job. Okay. It's part of my so job. So, it's, it's, it's not part of your job to sit sorry, there. Sorry, sorry, I'm going to have to interrupt yeah. here. From the story that you guys are sharing, it's not the first time that this is happening. <sighs> Sherry, why do you keep taking him back? <laughs> I to keep taking him back because I don't want to destroy my family. Obviously, I want Skylar to have her dad, you know, so I just keep taking him back and trying to make it work. Okay. How does it make you feel? I'm really sorry. Do you need a tissue? I've got some in my bag. It's completely okay to, uh, to cry and to express emotion, okay? When this happened, when this episode, I... whatever, they are, because for her they're really real, she feels betrayed. We're not going to put a tag on it. How do you feel when this happened? Well, I just feel like I've just, you know, I feel really let down. I feel hurt, emotional, let down, you know. What about you, Squib? How do you feel when you, when the row or, you know, the fight is gone and you find it back together? She feels let down, how do you feel? Um, I just feel pretty pissed off because me personally, I always know that the same similar situation is going to happen again because I am who I am. I'm Skibbity. There's going to be girls, hey, Skibba, oh my God, come here, babe. Oh, come on. That's going to happen. I can't change that. That's who I am. Uh, that's who I've been for the last 25 years. Okay. Um, most people will know me as Skibbity, John Bass, MC. That's what I do. I'm at Rage. Everyone, like, everyone's like, like, oh, Skibba, yeah, yeah. Even if I've never spoken to them before, they come up to me like, yo, Skibba, oh my God, baby, can I have a selfie? Can I have a selfie? And I'm, I'm there like, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm there, I'm a little bit scared that, oh, oh my God, is. Are you going to go and put this on Instagram and then Sheree's going to see it and then you're going to be brrr, just giving me shit again for, for embracing the fan. Okay. And it's like, yeah, mate, I don't I, give him oh, shit oh, for okay. just embracing okay. fans. I don't okay. give him shit. Yeah. I actually yeah. take pictures yeah. of him yeah. when we go out yeah. and say, oh, let's let But you know what it boils down to? What you're saying is that I'm sleeping with this girl. I've seen this girl twice in my life at events, at raves. So that's why have you saved pictures all. of her on your phone? Okay, what do you want to do? Do you want to stay? I, yeah, I just want, you know, I just want him to be a good dad and step up you know at the end of the day Skylar we've had a baby together you know I've tried really hard in this relationship I didn't want us to split up you know you've you what you're going to do just not see Skylar like the rest of the kids is that what you plan on doing well listen you know while I'm while you're throwing me under the bus to everybody that knows me we've got a listen, baby together listen, we've got a baby together listen. Right? I'm not, I'm so not, you're saying you don't want to see Skylar, yeah? I'm not, I'm not Is rolling. that what you're saying? I'm not rolling with them when that keeps on trying to throw me under the bus constantly. So like, you don't want to see your daughter? Listen, Is that what it is? Yeah? Listen, Another listen, daughter you won't see. Listen, yeah? Listen, Is that what it is? You know what I'm saying to you? I'm not, I can't really 
be cool and communicate cordially with somebody that keeps on throwing Listen, me under the bus. Listen, you should be able to communicate with your baby mum. No, not when you do that to my mum. Not when you try to draw my mum involved with it. So I'm like, just be honest, you don't want to see Skylar again? Listen, I don't want nothing to do with you, mate. That's yeah. what it is, it's just you. You right. get me? It's you. I don't want okay. nothing to do with you. Because you, you're trying to get everybody Fine. who's close to me and throwing me under the bus and making me look like a fucking idiot to my, to my brother, my cousin, my, okay. my you colleague, my brother. Look like a okay, no, guys. That's just bullshit, though. Yeah, you make yourself look like a fucking idiot. I don't make it. It's bullshit. It's bullshit, though. Okay, this is you. As she just said, as she just said, as she just said, it's due to your your triggers. It's your triggers from from from. You're an but it's normal. It's me being normal. I can't change that who I am. That's can, I am. can we just come down for a minute? You, Sherry, you make a rule, and I'm, I'm going to give you some homework. Is to no longer um, get in touch with his family. His family. Thank you. Because that's could be a no lendo for me. Could we, could we please? I don't yeah, listen, speak. I'm telling can you right we, now. Guys, can we? Listen, no. you know what? I'm just, listen, when I'm going to say this. No matter what you say to me, I'm telling you right now, that getting in touch, that oversees everything for me because of who I am. I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty private person. I'm in the limelight. So you, Sheree... Well, you're not that private listen, when you're messaging listen, other women. Listen, you, Sheree, messaging this person, that person. I mean, yeah. I'm just going to IB for it. I don't even know these girls. Yeah, yeah and, the, and the next time I see them, I see them, oh, you're right. And the next time I see them, they're like, oh, my gosh, your girlfriend just messaged me asking me if you're... Oh, my gosh. And they, so I, I feel I, like I, an I, absolute I, idiot. I think I got... Both of you, I think I got hookers. They were stalkers. There was fucking hookers. Listen, it's nothing to do with me. Yeah, I'm they got to to the villa because there was fucking brassies. All right, that's all. Can we... I think we're going to post for a minute. No, you Oh, man, I think we're going to pause for a minute. Mm. I would love if you could, when you feel a little bit more in peace and less angry toward another, if you could get in touch, have a coffee, not in your home, not in your home, elsewhere, in a place where you're not going to be arguing in front of everyone. And if you could discuss without anything in your mind, what's the best way to co-parent this little one? For me personally, I, I, I understand it. I'm taking on board everything you said. Personally, I don't think Sheree's ever going to be able to stop messaging my mum, my family, my dad. Well, how do you know that? How do you know that? Because you've done it the whole fucking relationship. Oh. The whole two years that we've done, that's what you do well, every you time. You Listen, do it all the time. Listen, I'm not bothered about talking to your fucking family. Oh. Let Elf be Elf. Yes. Basically, let Elf, be let elf. elf go and fucking Listen. do whatever he wants. But my mum all, yeah. but my mom that's also what you said. Want. My that's mom. What you, how your mum's brought you my up. My mum also said. That's why you've got three failed relationships, because every girl was caught you fucking cheating. Okay. So, so one second, what, let's just stop her okay. there. My mum said, That's listen, gonna be the... Yeah, but okay. listen, my mum said exactly what you said. Sharif, why do you keep on taking him back? If you're so pissed off with this and that, why do you have him back? Why do you have why, him back? Why doesn't so anyone speak okay, to you? Okay, so here there... None of your exes speak to your mum. Sherry. She you gives they all, shit advice. They all... Yeah, you're an idiot. Listen, don't try to walk about my mum like that, you know. Oh, I'm coming out of this God. place, I'm telling you, sorry. Talk about my mum like that. My mum gave perfect advice. My mum said, listen, it's obvious that you guys ain't seeing eye to eye. You guys ain't getting on together. Listen, I think, it, I think it's I, very clear listen, that you guys... So first of all, there are two things here. You have repeated this story to do things that trigger Sherry and that she doesn't want. You have repeated sto history to do things that he doesn't want. So messaging his family is not all right. Listen, it's not all you, right. No, but you doing what you do Emotional betrayal is not right either. Emotional so because betrayal. you cannot connect and go back to an even, a place where you can both be happy and settled, the only way is out. Huh? Is that a suitable solution for you both? Yeah, that's fine. That's yeah? Fine, yeah? All right. Okay. So well done for today. I know it was quite hard for both of you to be there. Look what it's come to. Look what it's come to. And now we've actually split up. I didn't want any of this to happen. <laughs> Next on There's No House Worse in the Cell. I don't even know the full story. Like, I don't know what happened. And he was like my best friend. We did everything together. The problem kicking off with me is that I'm not able to shut my mouth. At some point she was like arguing with some guy. And then she tried to hook me up with him. I was like, babe, no thanks. girl is like non-stop in my ears, like fucking, I don't know, like something, giving me headaches. Oh my god, she's a bitch. Yay! Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, is that good, yeah? Haven't you heard? There's no housewives in the South.